So I just wanted to spend some time talking about the Yardworks dab and more specifically 608 style bearings. Each of these dabs has a different bearing in it and uh, I wanted to talk through them because the, the dab is at the end of the day just a really nice carrier for a nice 608 bearing. There's really not a whole lot else to this spinner as evidenced by the fact that they just usually ship with these plastic caps. So uh, the dabs have four different bearing types. Uh, this is obviously not a dab, it's a Vorso flat top, but I put my favorite dab bearing in there. That is the Bronson Speedco Raw bearing. It's a 608 bearing that uh, comes in the dab raw. I was, uh, for a time, I thought I wanted an R188 bearing in one of my dabs. And I did that, as you probably saw in a previous video, uh, pretty quickly I realized that I missed the 608. But at that point, the uh, I didn't want to reverse the job. And I put the bearing in this Vorso where it's been just really, really nice. Smooth, but has a sort of a scrapey feeling to it. It looks pretty cool. It's just a, a really nice combination. So we'll leave this one out for now. And uh, sooner or later, I'll buy another dab raw and then I'll be able to revisit this bearing in its original form. Uh, for now I wanted to talk about uh, the three dabs. So we have the dab Swiss chocolate with the six ball Swiss bearing. I found this one to be uh, really problematic. You can hear it just doesn't sound that great. In different orientations it can be okay like that but this, uh, this way it does not sound good. Then we have uh, this is the dab brass with the gold line hybrid ceramic bearing. Nice sound, very scrapey. It's probably my, my favorite, my most used. And then lastly, we have the steel dab with what they call the high speed bearings. And this is the cheapest or the entry level model. It's only $28. So it's more pitchy definitely has a higher speed sound to it. I don't know if it's actually higher speed, but it sounds higher speed because it's screechy and a little bit uh, higher pitched. So at this point, you probably have a pretty good understanding of the sounds of each of the four bearing types. So this one is a little bit different, which has the metal buttons on it. And then obviously it's in the Vorso, which is a, uh, a much heavier spinner than the Deb. So now I wanted to do a quick spin test. This isn't gonna be super scientific, but I think it might be a, a good data point for everyone. These are not long spinners. I never long spin my dab. I, I can't imagine many people do, but I think this will let us know a little bit about the uh, just the smoothness of the bearing and sort of how, how it uh, operates on the desk. So the this one should be the longest spinning of the dabs so i'm going to start off with this one and then followed up by the hybrid ceramic uh, the gold line hybrid ceramic which is the next highest end bearing then lastly we'll give the benefit of the doubt to this high speed entry level bearing okay so i'm gonna do this as quickly as possible so the timing is not off that's the way to go okay Cap fell off. It happens all the time with these dabs. Okay, so absolute spin time is not the point here. Uh, what really 
I think was interesting is the relative spin time. So obviously this spinner started the fir started first and ended last. So yeah, I think true to the claims on the website, this six ball Swiss bearing, whatever it's called, the Bones Swiss bearing, something like that, is the longest spinner. Uh, yeah, my cap fell off, but I really don't think that would have much of an effect on it. The caps are not touching the bearing, so. Uh, this guy underperformed. We expected this one to be the second longest spinning, but instead it was shortest by a, a long shot. Uh, I don't know if that's a, really a statement about the gold line hybrid ceramic bearing, or maybe it's just that this spinner has the most miles on it. Unclear there, but this is uh, definitely not a very long spinner. You get a lot of feedback from it, but you don't get very good spin times with the gold line. Lastly, we have the high, the, uh, high speed bearing. So it actually did fairly well, and you could feel it when you spin it. It's, it's fairly low friction for a 608. So uh, maybe this one actually does spin a little bit longer at the expense of the uh, maybe the quality of the feedback, or at least the uniqueness of the feedback. So uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. I just, I don't know, I've been geeking out about these 608 bearings, and I figured some people out there, probably a very small number of people out there, uh, might be interested. So there you go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And then uh, also tell me your favorite 608 spinner. I've been curious to get my hands on some more of these guys. So thanks for watching.